I was commissioned by Aura Singers to write a piece which responded to a piece of plain song. And the piece of plain song uh, is actually one of the, the antiphons which is appropriate for the Feast of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. So the words were actually written by a colleague of mine um, called Lucia Quinault, who writes uh, the most beautiful words, and, and these are, are no exception. The, the idea of the Assumption can be quite a, a tricky one, even for a lot of Christians to, to grasp. And, and many don't believe in it quite. Um, and so that made it a, a kind of tricky text to deal with. But actually talking it over between us, we decided that the one thing about this story is that at the heart of it, there is a mother welcoming home her son into, in this case, into, into, into heaven's kingdom. But we felt that actually that was an image that a lot of people could relate to. And that's where this, um, this takes its starting point from. The opening image of uh, Mary's blue cloak, in which she's often pictured, uh, swept wide um, in, in heaven, caught up like these seeds in, in homeward flight, is, is such an evocative uh, and very powerful image, especially the, the image of, of stars opening wide like flowers um, at the very end as, um, as Mary welcomes her, her son to sit as the King of Kings amid the silent stars. So part of the way that I created this piece was to, um, was to have different choirs. The whole idea is about the earthly and the heavenly and that kind of transition in between. And so there is a, there's a choir of three solo sopranos who are sort of fairly distant uh, in the background, often sharing just tiny little bits of the, of the plain song material. And this quite grounded um, second, uh, third choir, rather, um, and then this uh, uh, mainly of, of altos and uh, including the two bass parts, and then this part in, t in, in the middle, which is this sort of intermediary uh, kind of intercessing between the, the, the two different parts. The, the piece opens with this idea. This kind of sparse uh, texture and the ideas behind it are very much connected with this triad which forms part of the second part of the phrase and the opening uh, that opening fourth there and then it happens again and then carries on So this idea of kind of clustering seeds, also trying to use as many of the, the individual aspects uh, of the plain song as possible. I suppose my idea was a bit like, um, I sort of explained it like, um, you know, you go to a fancy restaurant and you don't get lemon meringue pie, but you get sort of pastry ice cream and you get some sort of lemon foam or, you know, and you eat all of these different these different things, none of which is lemon meringue pie, but when you, when you finish and put your spoon down, the taste that's left in your mouth is that of 
lemon meringue pie. <laughs> so I, I really wanted this idea that actually you come to the end of the piece and you've never actually heard this, um, this melody in its entirety, but somehow you feel like you've experienced it by the time you get to the end.